Welcome Protege. In this project we'll be showing you how to interface a DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor to the Arduino Uno. These are great to add to your project if you are designing a weather station or any controller that is dependent on the temperature or humidity of the surrounding environment. Once the data is acquired from the sensor the temperature and humidity will be displayed on a 16 by 2 and a 20 by 4 LCD. For this project, you'll need a fuel can, Arduino Uno, a solderless breadboard, and a 16x2 and 20x4 character LCDs. If you want to use modulus and the modulus kit instead of the solderless breadboard, we provide a detailed explanation on how to connect the sensor to modulus on our website. Before we show you how to wire everything up, let's first take a look at the DHT11 sensor. It consists of a thermistor where the resistance changes linearly with temperature. For example, as the temperature increases, the resistance decreases. The humidity sensor has two electrodes where the resistance between them changes with a change in humidity. For example, as the humidity increases, the resistance decreases. The resistance from both of them are measured with the onboard ADC of the microcontroller. The data is then sent in a 40-bit packet via a one-wire interface. The one-wire interface is bi-directional, meaning that data can be sent in both directions. Taking a closer look at the data sheet, the host microcontroller sends an 18 millisecond low start bit to the DHT11, then pulls the signal high to wait for a response from the DHT11 sensor. Once detected, the DHT11 sends an acknowledgement in the form of an 80 microsecond low pulse then pulls the signal high for 80 microseconds. The sensor is now ready to transmit the 40-bit packet, which contains 16 bits for the humidity data, 16 bits for temperature, and 8 bits for the checksum. The DHT11 has a 3-pin header with pins plus, out, and minus. We we'll use a jumper wire to connect the plus pin to plus 5 volts DC, the minus pin to ground, and the out pin to pin 8 on the UNO. Next we have to connect the LCD to the Arduino Uno. For this, please see the previous project video which covers how to connect the LCD. We provide a link to this video in the description below. All that's left for the hardware is to plug in the AC to DC adapter to power up the fuel can and the Type-A USB cable to program the Arduino. The software for this project is relatively simple since we're using an external library. We have a link in the description that shows you how to add this library to your code. We also have to include the liquidcrystal.h library since we're using a 16x2 and a 20x4 LCD. So first we have to declare a DHT object. Now if you have two of these sensors then you'll want to name one DHT1 and DHT2 for example. Next we have to declare variables for the pins on the LCD so that we can pass them into this LCD function. And this is used to initialize our our LCD to specific pins on the Arduino Uno. Next we only call one function within our void setup which is lcd.begin and we're using a 16x2 so we just pass in two arguments one to specify the 16 columns and the second argument to specify the two rows. Now in the next software example we're going to use a 20x4 example and we'll show you how to pass in those arguments. In our void loop function we call the dht.read11 since we're using the DHT11 sensor, we have to use read11. If you're using a DHT22 sensor, then you would call DHT.read22. And then it takes the argument, which is the pin that you have the one wire data pin connected to on the UNO. In this case, it's pin 8. And since we're displaying the data on the 16x2 LCD, we go ahead and set the cursor to 0, 0. Then we do a simple lcd.print which says temperature and then we can grab the temperature data by passing in dht.temperature. These next two lines of code I was trying to print the degree symbol on the LCD. I wasn't successful in doing so. It, it printed something other than the degree symbol. So if you have any suggestions please leave a comment below. Next we do another lcd.print to specify the units which is Celsius as I mentioned. And then we go ahead and print the humidity on the second line by first setting the cursor to the second row. Printing humidity and then printing the humidity data by calling dht.humidity. 
and the unit is a percentage so then we tack on a percent symbol at the end. And then we have a simple delay because the update rate on these temp and humidity sensors aren't that fast. You can set the delay faster if you want to but it's, it's really not necessary since the, the temperature usually doesn't change that fast. That's it for displaying the data on the 16x2 character LCD. So now we're going to swap out this 16x2 for a 20x4 character LCD. The really nice thing about these are that they're hot swappable. In other words, they use the same wiring. The software to display data on the 20x4 character LCD is very similar to displaying the data on the 16x2. We include the same libraries, clear the DHT object, we pass in the same variables for this LCD function. The only difference is that in the void setup, we pass in 20 by 4 as the arguments. Going back up to the variable declarations, we declare two variables of type double. One is to hold the temperature in Fahrenheit, and one is to hold the temperature in Kelvin, and we initialize those both to zero. In the void loop function, again, we have this dht.read11 function, and we pass in the pin 8, which is the, the output pin that we have connected to the UNO. Since the data returned is in degrees Celsius, we have to convert the temperature to Fahrenheit. So to do that, we just multiply it by 9 over 5, and then we add, add 32 to that to get the temperature in Fahrenheit. Then to get the temperature in Kelvin, we just take the temperature in degrees Celsius and add 273.15. Then we have a series of LCD.prints. So first we display the temperature in degrees Celsius, set the cursor to the next line, display the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit, set the cursor to the third line, and display the temperature in Kelvin, and then finally we set the cursor to the fourth line and display the humidity. That's it for this project. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe below or leave a question or comment.